Casey's Cave. A terrifying place that no one should ever visit. But still, some people foolishly decide to enter it. But none of them will ever return the same. So, how did this once thriving mine end up being such a terror to the Minecraft world? Well, long, long ago, there was an ancient player called Casey, and she lived in a giant city with the ancient villagers. And she was very well respected amongst all the villagers. However, she didn't have all that much in terms of material possessions. But she wanted that to change. However, she believed that that couldn't happen if she stayed here in the city. And so on one summer morning, she decided to leave the city and go out on a search for gold to hopefully become rich. Now, she didn't have too much of a plan for this journey, but she was just hoping that over the next few years, whilst exploring the world, she would be able to find a gold vein. However, as those next few years passed, she was never able to find any gold. As she had never actually gone mining before, and so she didn't even know what to look for. In fact, in all those years of exploring, she didn't find anything of value. And so, after all those years, she still had nothing. And so, she decided to eventually give up her search. But she didn't want to return to the city anymore, as that would disappoint all those villagers that had believed in her when she had left. So instead, Casey decided to settle outside, right by the mountains, with nature surrounding her. But living in the wild meant that Casey was going to have to make a shelter, or else she was going to be attacked in the night. And so over those next few weeks, Casey was able to build herself a small wooden hut on the top of the mountain. And this wooden hut had one small room with a large window that looked over the mountains. And it was actually quite a nice hut, as after all, she was a very skilled builder before she left the city. And she loved it. Well, she did for the first few months at least, as when winter hit, she froze inside her hut, as she didn't know how to make heating. And so, as she sat there, shivering in the corner of her hut, she realised that being alone and without any emeralds just wasn't worth it. As she knew deep down, she had to return to the city, or else she was going to die. Even if that meant that she was going to have to disappoint all those villagers that believed in her. And so, she starts making her way out of her house and down the mountain. But as she was walking down the mountain, away from her freezing house, something catches her attention. As she sees a faint golden glow in the distance. She wasn't sure what it was, but she had time to kill, so she decided to investigate. And so she made her way over to it, and saw that it was a cave entrance. And so she jumped in, hoping that maybe that golden glow was a shard of gold. And well, what she ended up finding was far more impressive than just a shard of gold. In fact, she could barely even find the words for what she had just stumbled across. As she had just found a cave that was filled with everything that she had been looking for over the last few years. Diamonds, emerald, gold, iron, redstone. This cave had it all. And this was going to make her very rich. If only she knew how to extract the minerals. And so she stood back out of the cave and built a small but sturdy entrance into the cave and left a sign. Casey's cave, do not enter. As she wanted to make it clear to anyone that was venturing anywhere near here, this was clearly her cave. She owned it now. And so with that done, she wrote down the coordinates of the cave in her adventure log and ran back to the city, ready to tell the villagers of her newfound discovery and not the humiliating defeat that she had gone through just hours previously. And so when she rushed into the city, all the villagers were curious to hear what she had to say, as after all, she had been gone for the last few years. And so they all started to surround her. And once most villagers were around her, she spoke. I have found something that will make me very rich, but I need your help. And if you choose to join me, you too shall have riches beyond your imagination. Many of the villagers were intrigued by this offer, and so Casey brought those villagers over to her cave, and she showed them all of those ores. 
and they too were stunned. None of them had ever seen anything like this before in their entire lives, and so some of them even thought that this was fake and left. But most of them did think that this was real, as they believed and trusted in Casey. And so over the next few days, many villagers from that city, and even some from other cities too, all joined together at Casey's cave, and they built the infrastructure needed to mine at a cave like this. And so there were villagers constantly building tents for the miners to sleep in, there were farmers creating food farms to feed everyone, they also brought over several skilled craftsmen to increase the efficiency and value of the gems that they were going to be harvesting. And so they had blacksmiths crafting pickaxes and minecarts so that they could mine quicker and transport what they had mined quicker as well. And they also had stonemasons at the ready so that they could craft these ores into perfectly cut jewels. And so with everything ready, they began their mining operation. And it was a huge success as there were far more precious materials than they had expected, as in every turn they took inside Casey's cave, there were always more and more ores. It was just amazing, and Casey was finally achieving her goal, as she was now very rich. In fact, soon Casey and some of her miners were amongst the richest people in the Minecraft world at that time. And the best part of all of this was that it looked like they weren't even scratching the surface with how many precious stones were hidden within this cave. And so everything was going great, as everyone was mining and Casey even was able to afford to build a luxurious mansion looked over her cave. And so she was happy, and her miners were happy too, so everyone was happy. In fact, maybe not. As one day, a few months into their mining operation, news was spreading as a few villagers had supposedly been caught stealing. And when Casey heard that, she was furious. She had always been paying the workers very generously for their work, and in return, she had always expected honesty and hard work. And so she stormed out of her house and ran down to confront these captured thieves. And when she was speaking to them, she wanted to give them a very harsh punishment for their crimes. And so she called out all other miners so that they could witness this punishment. And then she killed them, right in front of all the other miners. They were all shocked because they didn't know what to do, but then she spoke. Go back to work and do not steal from me. And after that, she stormed back to her mansion, as she was so caught off guard that one of her own miners would do this, and she thought that this punishment was the only way that she could solve this issue. Afterwards, the villagers slowly started getting back into work, but after that day, things changed around Casey's cave, as now the miners had constant security checks as they exited the cave to ensure that they weren't stealing. Also, their pay was reduced. And Casey also spent a lot of her time now watching the workers as they worked, as she wanted to control them. And she was watching them in such a way that they could never see her watching them. They could only feel it, as she was watching them through some very secret methods. And so because of that, many miners started to have strange sensations of being watched, which made them very uncomfortable, and they now felt like they had to work harder than they had ever before, or else they too would have to suffer the fate of those thieves. But regardless of their discomfort, more ores were needed to be mined, and Casey was going to make sure that they were mining them. But even though Casey was now making the miners the most efficient that they had ever been, many of the miners felt so uncomfortable feeling like they were being watched all the time that some of them started to go insane. And they started to run out of the Casey's cave and they would be going so fast that no one could catch them and they would never be seen again. Casey assumed that they were running because they were thieves too, and she never came to the conclusion that this was because of the insanity that they were being tortured through as she stared at them 24-7. And to begin with, this only happened to a few of the miners, but over the next few decades, almost all the miners had this moment of just insanity and they ran away. And so after a few decades, 
Casey's cave was all but abandoned, except for Casey herself. Or so she thought. She didn't understand why all of her miners were doing this, as she didn't realise that she was the problem. And so eventually, when the final miner ran away, she decided to go inside her cave for the first time in what must have been decades. As she had spent those last years watching over the miners intently, making sure that they didn't ever steal from her. But because she'd been so obsessed with that, she hadn't ever stopped her miners from leaving, and she never truly bothered to figure out why they were all going insane and leaving. And so it was at that moment when she walked into those caves that she realised that in all those years, she hadn't even interacted with her miners peacefully. She had just given harsh orders and punished those that disobeyed her. That must have been why they all left. And so as she ventured deeper into the cave, she was hoping to find just one miner. One that she could just apologise to and hopefully encourage them to stay. But as she went deeper and deeper into the cave, she couldn't find any other miners. But then the cave started to shake a bit. And then she hears an echo of a sound coming from the entrance. And so she starts running towards it. But as she starts running, the light at the entrance of her cave starts to dim as the entrance was being covered up. As it turns out, a friend of that villager who was killed for stealing had also been hiding around Casey's cave, even when everyone else had gone. And he had been waiting there for months, all so that he could have the perfect opportunity to get revenge, as no one had ever stolen from her. The rumours that anyone had stolen from her were all lies. And so he covered up the entrance of Casey's cave and whispered, this is payback. They were all innocent, and now your wealth shall vanish. Casey was stuck inside. There was nothing she could do. She tried mining out, but she didn't know how to. And so she decided to wait for a moment, to think what she needed to do. When she hears explosions, her house and all those valuables that she had been storing up, were blown up by that villager, and the campsite just outside her cave was burned to the ground. But that explosion caused the cave to shake so violently that it began to cave in. And so, Casey was killed. All that time she had spent building up her wealth was all for nothing. But although she was dead, her spirit still remained, and she was still conscious, she was now a ghost. Realising this, she tried flying out of her cave, but couldn't. Instead, she was teleported to a villager, mining millions of blocks away. But then, suddenly, a dark, evil voice began to speak to her. You have caused so much torment to the thousands of villagers, by giving them a constant feeling of being watched. I like that. So, I'm going to give you the task of giving every being that ever tries to mine in the underground that feeling too. And you'll be tasked with doing this until a being opens up your cave entrance. And so, for the next million years, Casey would be forced to watch these players. And the players would always get that feeling of being watched, but they would never be able to see who's watching them as Casey was a ghost, and they could never see ghosts. Well, that is until one day, millions of years later, when a villager unintentionally breaks the entrance to Casey's cave, and her spirit is set free into a swamp biome. 